but how much detail do you need about your husband's pornography addiction, about his pornography problem, about his pornography use? How much detail do you need? The answer is not in asking of that question. The better question is, why do you think you need it? Most of the time, the reason why we want to know exactly what he's watching, why we want to know what websites he's been on, who he likes, what he searches for, where we were, when it happened, what device was he on, what happened next afterward, How, did he greet me afterward, did he you know, initiate physical intimacy afterward. We want to know all those little details because we are hoping that the details that we learn will somehow make us feel better. Our brain doesn't like not knowing or not understanding. It doesn't like feeling dumb and it doesn't like feeling taken by surprise. So it thinks that the more information that we have, the more we can avoid um, re, uh, a replay of this in the future. So that's why our brain actually wants more detail. And the problem with that is that most of us are not in a space emotionally in order to be able to process all of the emotions that come up when we find out those details. So I have had so many clients that have looked and actually gone and watched the videos that their husband was watching because they're hoping that they can figure out some kind of clue, some kind of detail or piece of information that will either make them feel better or give them some indication of how they can then fix it. Maybe if I just find out exactly what he's watching, I'll figure out what it is that he's attracted to. And then I can change myself in order to be that for him so that he doesn't go watch porn. Our brain wants to solve it like a puzzle because it's trying to solve your emotions. But what you're trying to do is solve your emotions by what you are taking stock of that's outside of your control. And no amount of information, no amount of knowing or understanding in your brain is going to make you feel better because they're two separate systems. You cannot logic your way out of what you are feeling. You have to understand that. You have to understand that your feelings are valid and you just process them. And no amount of information, no amount of logic or understanding is going to make you feel any better. The only way to feel better is to actually process the emotional baggage and let it go. So it's just your brain trying to solve the problem of your feelings, thinking that they're a problem, and then trying to solve them in the wrong way. Now, I'm not saying that you don't ever have to know what's going on with him, but I do want to caution you if you are trying to get more information out of it in the hopes that it makes you feel better. 